What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of UGUE Brothers Vlogs. Now, I am outside of Publix. It's like 11 in the morning. I got up at like 8. I don't know why, but I am up crazy early, and I'm, <laughs> I've got so much freaking energy, and I just had some coffee. So I'm outside of Publix, and you know what that means. It's about to go down. <laughs> what's up guys let me tell you something I made some magic happen tonight uh, all right so I shot this video a little bit different so uh, this is actually a HelloFresh meal I didn't order HelloFresh I did a little something different I actually just looked up the ingredients and I went to the store and I bought everything from there um, basically what I made was a sriracha honey chicken quarters with basmati rice and roasted green beans. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> oh, man, it's super easy to make. Um, now, with this particular meal, I didn't really get a, a chance to really film too much while I was working because timing is sort of everything when it comes to these types of meals. Um, it'll take you mm, 40, 45 minutes probably in total to make. Um, this total meal to finish but pretty much everything is like back to back um, so you got to kind of be ready you got to be standing there and um, you know you got to be ready to go so basically what I did here I went and got a lot of my prep done knowing that I was basically going to have to um, going to go, go, go here, uh, keep an eye on things, manage things, and keep things clean, so, um, basically what I did is I went to the store, um, I went ahead and got, um, I went ahead and got leg quarters, um, dirt cheap, I got like four pounds, uh, of chicken quarters, which is just the thighs and the drumstick, uh, with the skin on, um, I got like, yeah, like, maybe, maybe four pounds, maybe a little over four pounds, I paid like eight bucks for it. Um, I got a bag of green beans that was like a dollar, a uh, dollar fifty, and I had to get green onion, and I got a bunch of it, um, like a small, like a bunch. Um, that was like seventy nine cents. So all together, super cheap um, meal to get. Um, really, you can use things that you have around your house. Now, what you will need is honey, sriracha, soy sauce, and sesame oil. So you will need those things. Um, uh, so if you don't have those things, you are going to need to pick that up. I had to do the same thing. I had to pick those things up. Um, uh, so I grabbed some, um, still, uh, with just the small bottles, um, really only a few bucks. So it's a super cheap meal. Um, really good for a family of four. There's four servings pretty much. I bought more than that. Obviously I bought like double that. <laughs> but because typically it's only for about 32 ounces of chicken um i got i got more than that obviously so um so busy what all there is to it um you're just gonna go ahead and chop up uh your green onions this is really the taste um it's an aromatic uh this is really not a particular amount i used two of the little good, two good sizes of the stalks they were like a foot long for me, that was plenty. I maybe could have used a little bit more. Um, but basically what you're going to use is you're going to separate the whites and the greens. You're going to use the whites for your rice. You're going to use your greens to garnish. So, um, you know, whatever you like in terms of green onion, just kind of go with that. It's really to taste. So there's really not an amount for that. Um, I went ahead and got um, my hun the honey that I got. I went ahead and got unfiltered honey. Um, if I was going to have honey, I wanted to make sure that it had all the basic goodies inside the honey. Um, the pollen, the enzymes, all that good stuff. So I went ahead and got raw and filtered honey. And um, I got low sodium soy sauce just because I wanted to keep down the sodium. And um, sesame oil. Just I just got some regular organic sesame oil. Um, but basically, this particular meal is super easy to make. It's all in the timing, um, and really the sauce is the star of this whole deal. Um, so what you're going to go ahead and do, chop up your green onion, separate the whites from the greens. Um, 
obviously you want to go ahead and rinse those, give those good rinse before you chop them up. But yeah. Um, next, what I did is I went ahead and got uh, my basmati rice. I use basmati rice. Um, doesn't really matter what brand you get. Um, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and rinse that, give it a real good rinse until the water essentially runs clear. Just rinse it off, drain it, rinse it off, drain it. And once the water runs clear, you should be good. I had one cup, one cup of rice. That was plenty, and there's still plenty more. <laughs> um, Joe, and, Joe and I both went into town on, on the rice, and there's still plenty. So a cup is absolutely fine. Um, then you're going to want to just kind of set that aside. Have that ready to go. Get you about a cup and a half of water. Um, have that ready to go because you want to pretty much get that in the pot um, for timing purposes as soon as you can. So um, take out your chicken quarters. Now you can you could do this meal. I found this I found similar recipes online for a lot of different proteins. Um, a lot of chicken, of course. Now you don't have to use chicken quarters. You can use chicken breasts. Um, you don't even have to make it like I make it. There's even slow cooker recipes uh, out there that offer the same deal, and it's probably pretty good. I don't know. I just this is just how I made it. Um, but like I said, I mean the sauce is the key here. So you could probably use that sauce for who knows? I don't know. Sriracha is delicious with the honey and the sesame oil. Oh. <laughs> um, but basically, what you're gonna do is take your, uh, at least what I did, take the chicken quarters out and make sure you uh, give them a good rinse. Make sure you get all the stuff off. Pat dry them with like a paper towel. Salt pepper them real nicely, essentially to taste. Um, you know, I would say maybe not too much salt on it. Um, just in case, because you are using soy sauce and the sauce, even at low sodium, maybe still a lot of sodium for you. I don't know. It's really up to you. Um, so I, I just salt, pepper thoroughly. Um, and then I used a baking dish. You are going to want to use a cookie sheet or a baking sheet. I don't have baking sheets. <laughs> so I used... Um, I used baking dishes, uh, which means I just compensated with additional time of cooking um, because it cooks a little bit slower in the baking dish. It cooks slightly different, um, but I had to use that because that's what I had available. So I just sort of made it my own way. Get that in the baking dish. Um, now, keep in mind you are going to want to have your oven ready to go. So you're going you're to want to preheat the oven about 425. Um, have that ready to go. Now, once you finish your chicken, your oven's preheated, go ahead and throw your chicken in. Now the time pretty much starts at that point. Um, as soon as you put your chicken in, let that start cooking. You're going to want to go ahead and start your rice. So have a pot ready to go. Um, go ahead and put about a tablespoon of butter in your pot. Um, get that all melty and nice and yummy. And then go ahead and drop your, um, your whites from the green onions in there let them get real soft what I did is I went ahead and added a little bit more a little bit of garlic powder in mine because um, I, I love garlic so I added a little bit of garlic powder um, in in the green onion whites basically get them nice and soft once they're nice and soft probably only I don't know 30 seconds um, but you can tell go ahead and toss your rice in which is why I said you want to have it ready to go so go ahead and toss your rice in you go ahead and take your water in and uh, give it a nice stir, mix it all nice and mixed up and uh, bring that to a boil. Um, once you bring it to a boil, go ahead and drop that to a simmer and cover it. Now while that's cooking, you, know, you can go ahead and get your other things ready to go. Um, the green beans, you are going to go ahead and trim those, give them a nice rinse, make sure they're clean. Um, maybe put them aside into a pan already. Um, just a little bit of olive oil and whatever seasoning you really want or no seasoning. It's really up to you uh, It'd be good either way. I just put a little bit in the theme of my meal. I put some Weber Sriracha garlic seasoning on mine. Just nice coating. There's no real amount there now Once you do that go ahead and start getting your sauce ready and Like I said, this is kind of where It's all about timing, okay? Now, the sauce is actually fairly straightforward. Let me go ahead and make sure I get the right numbers for you so you don't make mistakes. Now, you could adjust this if you want to make more sauce. Um, but basically, you are going to want um, four tablespoons 
of soy sauce, four tablespoons of honey, and eight tablespoons of sriracha. Um, now, when you go ahead and mix that up, just give it a little bit of taste. Make sure it's something that you like. If you want a little bit more sweet, add a little bit more honey. If you want it more salty, add a little bit more soy sauce. Uh, if you want to add a little bit more spice, add a little bit more sriracha. This is all to taste. Those are just some good numbers. That's what I started with. Um, now, go ahead and put a paper towel over that bowl. Throw that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. What that does is it starts to break down the honey. Makes it all nice and smooth. You can stir it in real nice. Um, and then you're going to get your sesame oil. And I believe that's only two tablespoons two tablespoons let me check yeah two tablespoons so two tablespoons of sesame oil and then give that a nice stir up uh, like I said if you want and you know go ahead and give it a taste after you mixed it all up if you need something else if you need a little bit more sesame oil you need more soy sauce it's really to taste so just give it a nice taste if it's ready for you it's ready for you set that aside now about 20 minutes into the cook time of your chicken, um, you're going to want to go ahead and throw your green beans in the oven. 20 minutes into the cook time of your chicken. So go ahead and toss your green beans uh, underneath the chicken. Your chicken should be on the top rack. And just let that go for probably another 10 minutes or so. Um, and now the chicken overall should probably cook about 28 to 32 minutes depending on how much chicken you use, what you're cooking it in, and your oven, of course. So just keep an eye on it, is what I say. Keep an eye on it. If you have a food thermometer, use that. But basically, 20 minutes, about 20 minutes-ish of your cook time, go and throw your green beans in there because they aren't going to take long. Go ahead and leave those in probably about 10 minutes. Um, and as your chicken starts to get just about done, Go ahead and, and open your oven um, and give it a nice solid glaze. Um, you're probably going to use about half the sauce, um, if not a little more. It just really depends on how much chicken you have. Um, give it a nice thorough coating of the sauce. Make sure it's coating pretty much everywhere. Um, and then put that back in the oven for another five minutes or so. Um, give it a look-see. If it needs more sauce, add more sauce. Again, that's really up to you is how you want it to look. By then, it should be about done. Again, about if you're doing the cookie sheets, probably about 28 to 32 minutes. If you're using the baking dishes, you're probably going to need to add about 10 more minutes. That's what I did, and it came out perfect. So, um, And I had more chicken. So I had more chicken, and I had a baking dish. I added about 10, 15 minutes more than that cook time, and it came out perfect um but since you're dealing with chicken um you know just look at it if it looks done to you great do the field test great if you got a meat thermometer put that in there um if you don't have any of that you don't trust the field test or any of that just pull it out take one of them give it a cut take a look at it um if, it, if the juices are clear it's done so once all that's done your rice should be done by that point should only be about 15 20 minutes for your rice to be done pull that off take your chicken out take all the goodies out and you are done so super super simple it's just sort of boom 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 to make sure everything is just perfectly timed but everything is basically done at the same time and you're ready to serve so this came out unbelievably good <laughs> now what i went ahead and did is i made a little bit more sauce um and i essentially just relayered. Uh, after it was all done add a lot more sauce and then you just go ahead and you can garnish with the green onion when you're done so very very simple to make um and oh my god <laughs> the green beans perfectly cooked just enough crunch in them just enough flavor in them um again salt pepper i used weber sriracha garlic which is freaking delicious um the rice perfectly done and um i don't know i add, add a little bit I add, personally add a little bit more butter into mine <laughs> but if you add those greens from the green onions in there you get a nice spice uh as well um a nice little bite with the rice and the chicken oh my god let me tell you something the balance of the saltiness um the sweetness of the honey 
and then the freaking spice oh so freaking good and then after it's all said and done you get that punch of that sesame right at the end oh <laughs> oh my god it is so delicious oh my god and the look of the whole thing is just wonderful. I mean, it looks restaurant quality on the plate. Talk about making a family meal that's inexpensive, it's cheap, and it's easy. And you come out looking like a champion. <laughs> like, you just are a total freaking expert. This is way easy. I mean, the chicken is just juicy. Oh, my God. Ugh. And if you wanted to, it's really up to you. Um, throw the broiler on. And you can actually crisp up the skin a little bit, you know. I didn't do that. Totally fine. Not a big deal. But you can. And uh, so it's really, I mean, a lot of these flavors, like the sauce and everything, that's really kind of up to you. Get creative with it. Play with it. The protein. Get creative with it. You don't, don't just you do what I did. Um, the leg cores are fantastic. Um, but, I mean, use chicken breast. Use some other protein. Use, I don't know, tofu. Doesn't matter. Just get, get creative with it. But... The flavors in that sauce were so good. <laughs> they were so freaking good, man. Sriracha in itself is delicious. Like, I'm not a huge fan of hot sauce, but I love sriracha for some reason. I mean, the flavors in that particular sauce, um, I just really, really enjoy for some reason. And then the honey, <sighs> mm, there's nothing wrong with sweet and spicy together. I'm, let me tell you, and you got a little saltiness from the soy sauce and then of course like I said that sesame kick at the end <sighs> not to mention the sesame oil gives it a nice little shine nice little shine makes it look all pretty on the plate <laughs> oh my god this was so freaking good oh. anyway guys I gotta get back because I got some cleaning to do <laughs> now and I gotta edit by the way Joe did eat this <laughs> <laughs> and he did enjoy it um he was just watching some shows so i couldn't really film him eating it's kind of rude to shove a camera in somebody's face while they're watching a show and they're eating their food <laughs> so i did not film it but he did enjoy it so I, I did share even though i wanted it all i did share um anyway guys i got a whole nother recipe plan um chicken again um but I'm going to do it in the slow cooker. I found this really cool recipe for, like, chicken and rice. And I haven't had chicken and rice in many moons, let's just say. So, and this is kind of a funky one. So, I want to try it. It's in the slow cooker. It seems pretty straightforward. So, I'm going to give it a try. And then after that, I've got a few ideas for some other proteins. Um, so, i got a ton of stuff for this cooking channel. Come, or not cooking channel, but cooking series coming out. I'm like super excited. Like I said, I was up like super freaking early this morning looking up recipes, doing research, getting crazy stuff done. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy the way this freaking came out. Let me tell you, try it. Try it. You would look like a total champion at your family dinner when they try that. <sighs> so good. Anyway, guys, comment, like, uh, subscribe. Um, let me know if you guys try it or going to try it and what you guys did. I want to know, man. I want to know what you guys are doing. If you guys are trying my recipes or whatever that I put out there, I want to know how it worked out for you. And uh, maybe what you did different or what you can change or whatever, you know. Give me some suggestions, too. Because um, I'm constantly looking at some cool stuff to do in the kitchen. Like, I got so many ideas. Like, I want to go to the freaking, like, Bed Bath & Beyond and just buy a bunch of... <laughs> I want to buy a bunch of stuff. <laughs> Uh, so I'm like super excited about this so seriously like I love doing this and it's been a very long time since I really spent any time in the kitchen and uh, you know this is really making me happy so you know give me some suggestions I'll see what I could do I know some of you guys said you were gonna send me some recipes so I'll be looking for those but anyway love you guys hope you're enjoying these vlogs um, tons of more stuff coming soon like I said we are planning to do a junkyard explore we're just looking to get some permission to, to film in this week's kind of weird because we're going to Illinois literally next Saturday so um, it's gonna be kind of tight um, so maybe when we get back we'll try to do some of that on this series 
of uh, junkyards on the vlog channel. Um, we're going to be doing some more explorers on the main channel, obviously, this week. So be look out. We probably will do at least one more live stream this week just to gear up for the trip so everyone's ready. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Life's just crazy right now. <laughs> anyway, guys, much love to you all. Um, hope you had a great weekend. Really do. Hope you had a great week last week, and I hope you have a good freaking day tomorrow. <sighs> I think I've had too much caffeine. <coughs> all right. <laughs> Peace.